Hi YouTube, I'm back. I have a new toy <clears throat> and uh, I'll get to the Porsche too for some of you that have been asking about that, um, what happened to that. Um, but behind me is a 1987 Suzuki Samurai and I'll turn the camera around and show it to you. It's in uh, mostly good shape actually. The uh, only few things that it needed, well it doesn't run, but um, we'll start with the back here. It has an old soft top that needs to be replaced. Those are relatively inexpensive actually, um, about $200 or less. So got one of those, just not going to put it on until I get to that point. The interior is in relatively good shape, nice carpet. I'm um, working on the gas tank, so it's been sitting for five years, and the carburetor was off of it, um, but there's been a lot of good mods done on this Samurai, so we'll show you this. We have a, it's about a foot six inch lift kit or so, um, very well done. The shocks are blown, but that's easy to fix. The uh, interior, like I said, is in great shape. It uh, has that new carpet kit. The seats are relatively intact. The, even the door uh, panels, which in the Samurai, if you know, those are usually like shot. I ordered all new uh, weather stripping on the doors. So, uh, those come from India, so that takes a while. The dash is complete. Um, just a little sun beaten from California sitting, but for the most part, done. It's got a uh, aftermarket transfer case with lower gears. Not sure what the gears are. I bought it from uh, the son. His, his dad had passed away and had been sitting. Um, but he did a lot of it at Petro Works, as you can see there. And it just in really good good shape. I think it's got about 109,000 or 110,000. Uh, I think it's rolled over once. Seems to, seems to run pretty good. I got the carburetor on it, but the carburetors probably need to be rebuilt. The, uh, like I said, the fuel system was all clogged up, so I'm using this little bottle here to uh, hang off of the hang off the top and give it some fuel. As you can see, and go right into the carburetor, starts right up, but it's got a miss. Um, like it's the low idle is uh, hesitating, or it's got a little pop to it. So I'm thinking that there's just some gunk in the carburetor. Battery shot. Uh, got to get a new one of those. Actually, got it on order on it special deal but they had to get it from another store so replace the battery clean the it can and air filter uh, cleaned up as much around the engine as I could put on the new uh, rotor and cap came with had it in the in the in the samurai the guy had it in the samurai got a new seal for the for the distributor because it's leaking oil on the distributor not sure if the winch works but well it seems to be intact um, got the gas tank with some vinegar, getting all the varnish slash a little bit of rust in there out. Um, I did have to get new tires for it. Tires were shot from sitting, um, but these are used tires. So I got a pretty good deal on them and uh, got all five of them. They're uh, from 2020, so only two years old. Um, started painting up some stuff on the outside, but really got to get it to run in smog because, you know, in California... That's a pain in the ass. The under, underneath looks relatively complete. It's got the cat. It's got the new muffler. Um, it's got disc brakes. It's been re-geared. Both axles have been re-geared. Um, it's got, you know, the Suzuki locking hubs, which is nice. Four-wheel drive seems to go in gear. Um, flat tow came with a tow bar, which is a really nice one that, that hooks right here in the front. I'll show pictures of uh, me hooking that up next time I take it out. Plan on taking it to King of the Hammers. And uh, yeah, hope you like the new Samurai. We'll uh, talk to you soon. 